this might be uh, a Pollock type of work, but it's not. It's me uh, expressing myself the best way I can. And I'm, I'm working so hard at the moment. Uh, I'm having what's called a paint frenzy. And I suppose some artists use this term, paint frenzy. Sleeping is quite important because your body repairs itself in a sense, and your mind sort of evaluates things a little bit. But the idea is, I've had a really good sleep, which is rare, and I'm ready to do some painting. Painting is, it's not something you can just switch on. You have to adjust to being a painter, an artist. It's a strange life. You do seem to most people to be an eccentric type of person, which I am, a heavily eccentric. Uh, the word crazy could be used, uh, mentally unstable, uh, diverse, extreme, radical, all those things com compile into one. And being that type of person, uh, I'm branded as, uh, let's say, the, 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 the phrases that are mentioned is, there's something wrong with you, are you alright? Uh, where I get so overly excited that I'll even do a little dance, dance along and Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy to get this thing. There's another thing I use as well. A trowel. To put paint on, yes. A scraper. I like scratching my work occasionally. And a jug full of water. Oh, it's getting dark. I'm popping up to my garage workshop area and I'll show you what it's like up there. There we are. This is my cottage and it's lovely because I've been here for about 30, 30 years, 20 years or something. I don't know. Time is a very unusual thing. To know. I'll show you around up there. How about that? Daylight hasn't arrived yet. There's a lot of switching going on. I didn't realise how many times I switched things on and off. This is, this is my garage studio. I'll show you around. It's got, it's got paint, it's got screwdrivers, it's got uh, maybe stuff that I shouldn't have talk about. Anyway, there's the paint in the background. Uh, let's have a look what we've got here. Some paintings in the background there as well. I've got this painting on the table, which is under, under construction. And I've got these two paintings here, which are uh, making themselves come to life. I've got, let's have a look, I've got music here. of um, stuff, tape and paints there, which I, I surely need to get some more. And, and then you need all these mixing utensils. And, and you end up with pots full of... Uh, different mixed colours. This is the workbench where I actually do a lot of um, DIY products and carpentry and some steel work. A small pile of rubbish there which is you always do have rubbish. I've got more music for the mood and what have you. An assortment of tools. You can, you can never have enough tools and equipment because as you race through your, your life with uh, let's say projects or something like that you get to the stage where uh, let's say um, you start breaking things things start to break and you get the if you've got a backup which I have once something breaks you just go straight to the the next tool or oh yeah I was working with a palette knife the other day and the palette knife looks like that yeah stuff and, and it ended up like this, snapped off. And I still use this because now it's a wonderful scraper. And this is my favourite palette knife, it does so much. You pick your bugs out with it if you want to. Get the earwax out of your ear. You know, get the shit out of your teeth. But the idea is, you've got to be prepared. I use the word artist. Say, if you're, if you're a professional, a surgeon, a dentist, a doctor, uh, uh, whatever your profession is, you know at the end of the day, instinctively, that if you don't have the backup ready for the emergency where what you're using breaks, 
then you, you're going to fail. You're going to say you're out in the middle of the desert and you've got, um, you've got the problem of not having something that you've broken, so you definitely need a backup. You have to be ready, ready, ready all the time.